Here's what to do if you want to combine arrays in highs with one line of code. So first I'm going to declare an array called A and it's got the values 1, 2 and 3. I'll declare a second array, this one's called B and it's got the values 4, 5 and 6. Now let's combine these two together. So we'll type A.concat and we'll pass in B. So now all the values of B and A have been merged together into A. So now if we print A to the console, I'll hit F5, we'll see the values of both arrays are now within A. Now let's add a third array, we'll call this one C and it's got the values X, Y and Z. Again let's combine these into one array, so we'll write array concat and this time we're passing in both B and C and if we print A to the console now we can see it contains all the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, X, Y and Z. If we pass in a non-array value, for example 40, this will just be ignored and you can see it's not been added to the combined array. The examples so far have all modified the original A array. So let's see how we can do this in such a way that none of these are affected and we create a brand new array with all of the combined values. So to do this, I'm going to create a new empty array. I'm going to call it combine and then we're going to call combine.concat. We're going to pass in A, B and C. And then if we print that to the console, we shall get our combined array with all of the values from the other three arrays, but the original three arrays have not been affected. So that's what you need to do if you want to combine arrays in highs with one line of code.